Are you ready for today's challenge? Go ahead, gather your supplies and meet me at the art table. Let's dive in and explore the wonders of the deep sea. Here I have my materials, blue, red, and yellow. I have black and white, and then a canvas or a piece of paper, a piece of paper towel, a cup with water. I have a flat brush and a round brush, and a pencil. Very good. Let's draw now. I want you to go from one side to another side of the paper, but I want you to kind of curve it down. So you're gonna go woo, and then you go up again. So from the top to the bottom and to the top again. And now right in the middle here, maybe a little bit to the left, make a circle. Doesn't have to be perfect, however you, your circle turns out. And then another circle on top, we're making our turtle. And then for the arms, we're going to just bring them out like this and then close them in. So they kind of look like little triangles, but rounded. And then do the same thing on this side and on this side for the legs. I have a little fat turtle here. And then I'm gonna add, make the tail. Very nice. Um, the rest we're going to paint. This is all I wanted to draw. Get your big brush and wet it a little bit. And now let's grab some blue. Start painting all the way over here where you made that line. Start painting it dark blue. Just go all across that line with dark blue. Now we're going to add just a little bit of yellow to that blue. See, it's gonna turn into green, but I want it to be more blue than yellow, and then add some white. So what's gonna happen, it's gonna be more of a teal color. So blue, yellow, and some white. So I have to make more. So it's not gonna be completely green, but more of a teal color. See, still kinda. And I want you to as you paint, now I want you to go up and down. So you're going to go at an angle. I want you to, here, I have a dot here in the middle. Start going towards that dot as you paint. You're gonna go over that blue that you painted in the beginning. Go over a little bit. Hopefully it's still wet. And it's going to blend into the into the blue. Try not to go, I mean, it doesn't matter. You can go over your, go over your, your turtle because you're still gonna be able to see it. And I'd rather you just continue with that flow. So I'm going up and down. I have to make more. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't make enough of my teal. And I'm running out, okay. So you see, everything is going towards that top here. That little, the middle, and all the way up top. It's almost like it's calling my brush towards it. Don't be afraid to go over the, the blue that you had. Don't be afraid to go over it. It's okay. You're gonna go over, but you're not gonna cover it so much. It's just gonna be a little bit covered. And then add a little more white to the teal that you had. Add a little water to your paint. A little more white. It's still teal. Oops. It's still teal, but it's just lighter. So now you go all the way up top here, and you're still going to be going that way like up and down at an angle towards the middle. A 
You see? Try your best. Now don't go all the way to the bottom anymore because this should be already covered. Just towards the top where you need to finish painting. Move your brush up and down. Hopefully you can still see your turtle. If not, guess what? We can draw it again. If we draw, if we drew it once, we can draw it twice. I promise. There you go. This should be done. I'm happy with my water. I hope you're happy with yours. I'm gonna clean my brush a little. Clean my brush. And now I'm gonna get some black. Just get some black and follow that line that you drew earlier. Follow that whole line. There you go. Now after you, you, you drew that line, you followed it, you're going to now paint the rest black. It's going to be easier now. Okay, this is just a silhouette of the floor. It's really dark down here. There you go. So this is all black. I'm gonna put this brush down in the water. And what I'm gonna do is now grab the small um, brush and start adding details. I'm gonna start with my blue, the dark blue that you, that you, the darkest one that you have. I'm gonna start making some leaves, some 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 sea plants. So go up like this. Start from the bottom and start going just wiggly, zigzag. See, make some different designs, make a rock, make another rock. I'm gonna make our sea really cool, a really nice place to be. And then maybe a different kind of plant here. This one is not as wiggly, just kind of sticks up. This is a little bit taller too. And it goes like that. And now I'm gonna make some fishies. I'm gonna just put a dot, put a dot, and then add two little lines for the tail. Now fishies, they like to swim in groups. So I'm gonna put another one, a dot, and then two little, two little lines for the tail. Another one. Let's make a bunch. How about that? They're all swimming together. So there are some over here. I'm gonna make some over here. And these guys are going that way. So the tail is gonna be on the opposite side. We don't have as many. It's like two or three. There you go. Okay, now I'm gonna get black again with that same brush. Got some black and we're going to, I'm gonna make some more rocks. Now what's happening is these rocks are closer to me. The blue ones are further away. And yeah, so I'm making some other rocks. So what's happening is I'm creating layers and it's creating depth to my painting. And right over here, I'm gonna make, right in front of that one, don't be, don't, don't be scared, don't be afraid that you just, you're gonna be covering that. I'm just gonna make maybe a smaller plant, but I can still see that one in the background. 
And this one actually is going to have leaves. It's a little different. Just dabbing, you see? I'm dabbing on it, like boom, boom, boom. And then maybe I'll make some, like a little grass here. There's some grass. And then another plant here. Just some tall grass. Have fun. Make your own design, your own sea plants. Okay. Now, what I'll do is get just a tiny bit of white and highlight the bottom of the sea here. Let's make some lines in white. Not really white, it's gonna be gray because I didn't clean my brush. So I still had black on my brush. So it's gonna be gray. Just making some, it's, this is called like a dry brush because it's, it's a bit, all right. Make sure you just have enough um, highlights on your, on the different flowers, on the rocks. Good. Now if you still have your, the drawing, if you can still see the drawing of your turtle, then that's great. If not, just grab some black and we're going to draw it out right here. So just think of, think of a circle. Make a circle. And then make another small circle on top. So a big circle and then a small circle. Got it? And then you can color it in. And now for the legs, you're going to start here on top on the side. You're gonna press your brush and then release pressure. And then press again on the other side, do the same, and then release. When I say release, you just pick up your brush from the, the canvas. So you press it and then you pick it up. And as you pick it up, give it a little twist. If you twist your, your brush, then what's gonna happen is it's gonna give it a nice tip. See, I didn't twist it there. Press and then twist. Press and twist as you release. Press and twist. And then you can add a little tail if you like. It's okay if you're overlapping the other fishes, it's just fine. Now you can highlight the turtle a little bit, adding a little bit of white, highlight it. Highlight the big circle and then highlight the small circle, just like that. Now for this next part, clean up your big brush. We're gonna create an effect of light coming from the surface, hitting and going through the water and that's where the turtle is being attracted to. It's going up. So you're gonna use your big brush. Make sure it's nice and clean. And get some white. And add a little bit of water to the white. Just a little bit. See, it's white and a little bit of water. Now it's very important that the top and the turtle is completely dry. So. Blow on your turtle. Wait a little bit. And then right over here where the turtle is kind of looking at, we're going to kind of bring our brush down. We're gonna start from the top and then pull it down. Lift the brush as you go down. I'm gonna pretend that this is the light 
shining through the water. You're gonna do this and you're gonna go over your, your, your turtle a little bit, but make sure it's dry. You don't want the turtle to be wet. So I'm just gonna do a little bit going around like this. See, I got a little black line here because my turtle was wet and I touched the turtle. Be careful with that. Just wait a minute, you know? It's better for you to wait. On the sides is fine. Because that's already dry. And as you go down here, you don't have to go all the way down. As you go down, it needs to be very light, very subtle. So pick up your brush, so you, you press it down and then release. It's white in a little bit of water. I'm just gonna do one stroke over the, my, my turtle. I don't wanna do too much. Especially because I probably picked up some black I don't want to. So I, I just wanna make sure that you guys wait Press pause on the video and then start again. Not start again, but just stand yeah, because otherwise you're gonna have it all smeared. All right, there you go. There is our light and it's reflecting on the sea and it's just shining through. And then right here, Add even more white just on the top. There you go. Here is my under the sea wonderland. I hope you had fun painting it. Bye bye. Thanks for painting with me. I would love to see what you do. So, how about you take a picture of your painting and post it on the Spotty Dotty Show Facebook page? so I can see it and so you can be entered to win the Stay Creative Art Prize. And at the end of this challenge, on August 31st, I will be going live to meet and greet you and to draw the grand prize winner. So see you tomorrow for another painting challenge.